Okay, the next day here, um, I did uh, load test the batteries, doing a little maintenance, which I probably should have done before I went on the trip. But uh, anyway, cleaning up my terminals, as you saw, were not so good. Uh, load tested both batteries, they're great, so not a problem there. So just a little cleanup, and I'm going to pull, pluck the alternator out and replace that. Um, I did put the uh, load tester on it, and it did show the charging system. Um, to be low, even below low, so and was intermittent a little bit too. So anyway, pretty much diagnosed the alternator is shot. No big deal. Going to replace it now. So I'm going to pluck it out and go down uh, and get an alternator in town. And uh, let's get this thing out of here. Okay, replacing the alternator on a Ford F250 Power Stroke. Best truck in the world. <laughs> anyway, um, I dis disconnect the batteries is a good move. Again, dual battery system should disconnect the batteries before doing this. Um, because I drove for three and a half hours on without an alternator, I was wearing the batteries down. So I am uh, I'm charging the batteries up before I start the truck up, and but before that, I got to replace the alternator. On the Ford with this uh, serpentine belt, you've got a tensioner down there, and I just put a breaker bar on there, and as you can see, I'm going to pull that and release the tension. Hard to film and do that at the same time. I'll be back. So that's it. You just use the breaker bar and remove the tension off of that belt, and it comes right off. So let's replace that. Three bolts on the electrical connections. There's two. To replace those and try not to have them contact anything metallic. Okay, the alternator is real easy to get off. Once you take the belt off, pop the three bolts out first. Then you can rotate this thing up so you can see the connectors. And again, these are just uh, simple connectors. Push in on the push in on the tab and pull the pin up. And this one is a 10 millimeter nut. And then you pluck your alternator out. All right, let's go. Uh, Let's go get an alternator, let the batteries charge up. Okay, in reverse, again, I'm charging the batteries up before I put the alternator in. Just put it in with uh, make my electrical connections first, then the three bolts, and then the tensioner with the breaker bar. It's very easy, five minutes tops to put the alternator back in. This is on a Ford F250 2002 with a 7.3 liter diesel. Um, one of the easiest change outs. There's a lot of other things on this thing that aren't so easy, but uh, that's an easy one. So I feel pretty confident I could travel three, four hours without the alternator working off of these dual batteries. That's batteries that are in good shape. Speaking of batteries in good shape, mine were not so uh, well maintained, so I confess that. So I'm going back with uh, cleaning the terminals with a good uh, internal and external battery terminal brush, some anti-corrosion fill pads and then I use on my solar systems I use this DECA battery terminal spray and so that's what I'm gonna do um, so we're just about charged up alternators back in so let's uh, clean up and get it running Okay, we're back in business. Um, terminal spray, terminal's nice and clean. Both batteries, new alternator. So, real simple change out, and um, it was a test that I wasn't planning on running, but probably could get four hours without the alternator on this truck. I like some of the, com the comments were great. Uh, things and ways to keep this thing running. They were excellent, and uh, I had a lot of fun reading them and uh, we'll use them if I have to in the future. Um, what else was I gonna say? Uh, I guess that's about it. And hopefully this is helpful if you've got a Power Stroke F250, changing the alternator out, piece of cake. So I, the way I figured it, that I could, if I could drive four hours on batteries, that I could find an advanced auto parts or somewhere uh, within four hours of wherever I am uh, and get a new alternator. So I didn't buy two alternators. This is a lifetime warranty alternator at an advanced auto parts I'm pretty sure I could get uh, another one so anyway maybe that was a bad move but 
And with all the other techniques, redneck engineering ideas, which were great, I can get this thing home. So the one other thing I would bring with me is that breaker bar. It's easier than a ratchet, gets a little more leverage, makes changing that belt out a lot easier. And uh, did, uh, I didn't have any terminal spray on here before, but you can see the purplish battery terminal spray. So a lot better, longer life out of your batteries if you take care of them. So, all right. Uh, so the moral of the story, don't get, don't get caught with your volts down. Uh, this is Engineer 775, signing out.